Then we have a, a proton travels in a region where a magnetic field B is half a Tesla. The field is along the positive y direction. And the proton velocity is this. All right. Here's x, here's y. B is along the positive y direction. So the magnetic field is this way. And it has a, magnet, and it has a magnitude of 0 0.5 Tesla along the y axis. Well, the proton velocity is 4 times 10 to the 6, and this is meters per second here. When this is a proton's velocity, plus 6 times 10 to the 6. Now, I is this I hat that we talked about, and J is J hat. So this means that the velocity has a component 4 million meters per second along the x-axis, another component which is 6 million, 10 to the 6 is a million, 6 million meters per second along the y-axis. So V, this is V. What is the force on the proton? The force on the proton is a force on a charged particle in a magnetic field. So it's Q, V, cross B. The charge on the proton is known. It's plus E, 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. We leave it as Q for now, or we can just put E for it. That's the charge on the proton, plus E. It's positive. V is 4 times 10 to the 6 I hat plus 6 times 10 to the 6 J hat. This is V. Cross B. B is 0 0.5 Tesla, so 0 0.5. And what is its direction in the y, positive y direction? So what is the positive y direction? It means J hat. So B is 0 0.5 J hat. It has a magnitude of 0 0.5 and it's in the positive y direction. So I can now do, do, do this. Remember the circle i hat, j hat, k hat, and that we go in counterclockwise direction. So I have e the first one here, I hat cross J hat. The 4 times 10 to the 6 and the half simply multiply. So those give us 2 times 10 to the 6. And then I have I hat cross J hat. And then the next term is, I guess, 6 times 10 to the 6 times half. That's just 3 times 10 to the 6. And then I get j hat cross j hat. Now j hat cross j hat is 0. So this is 0. i hat cross j hat is just k hat. So this is just k hat. So the answer is that the force f, which is a vector, of course, it's e, which is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19, times 2 times 10 to the 6, and i hat cross j hat is just k hat. That is, it's in the positive z direction. So this is 3.2 times 10 to the minus 13 k hat newtons.
Now, of course, we could have we could arrive at this without all this, you know, like the way I did it. We could use the right hand rule and the definitions and so on of v cross b. That is, v cross b is equal to the magnitude is v b sine theta, and the direction is obtained by the right hand rule. Now, v, the velocity has a positive component along the x-axis, 4 times 10 to the 6, and a positive component along the y-axis, 6 times 10 to the 6. So the velocity itself looks something like this. The x component is 4 times 10 to the 6, and the y component is 6 times 10 to the 6. B is along the y-axis, B. So if I apply the right-hand rule to get V cross B, I put my fingers at V and turn to B, which is along the y-axis, so the thumb points in the positive Z direction. So indeed, the force is in the positive Z direction. If I want the magnitude without using without doing it the way I did it, I just, I need to find the magnitude of V times the magnitude of B times sine the angle between them. The magnitude of V can be obtained from X, from Vx and Vy. It's square root of Vx squared plus Vy squared. So we get the magnitude of V. The magnitude of B is given. Then I need sine the angle between them. The angle between V and B is this. And sine this is the x component of V divided by the magnitude of V. So I can also, I can end up with the right answer that way. Whichever way you're more comfortable with, you use. What is the acceleration on the proton? A is just F over M. So we have 3.2 times 10 to the minus 13 N Newtons, and it's in the positive Z direction, divided by the mass of the proton, which is 1.67, let's say, 1.673, 1.67, times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms. So we get about about 2, less, a little bit less than 2, 2 times 10 to the 14 meter per second square. And it's in the plus z direction. because the force is in the plus z direction.